you guys did mobile easement one or two. Do what? Mobile easement one or two. Oh, okay. That's all right. We can we can talk about it. All right, it's 6.05 and the Conservation Commission meeting will come to order. We do have quorum, yep. Uh, the first order of business will be the acceptance of the minutes from the September meeting. I don't have any comments. Anyone else? Do we have a motion? I make a motion to accept the minutes as written. Okay, there's a motion to accept the minutes as written. Is there a second? All in favor? Aye. The minutes are approved. Thank you. The next order of business is public comment. We don't have anyone here from the, from the public. We have no conditional use permits, which moves us to item four, new business. Any new business to come before the commission? Do you have anything? Do you want to do the invoice under treasurer's report? Yeah, we might as well do it under new business. So we have um, an invoice for the New Hampshire Association of Conservation Commission's membership uh, for $575. Does so anyone that's due? January 31st, 2025. We've been renewing this for the past at least eight years. Um, I'll make a motion to appropriate $575 more funds for renewal. It was a motion to um, appropriate $575 for renewal. I'll second it. And there's a second. Any more discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Approved. Thank you. Old business easement monitoring. Dale and Jeremy have uh, completed monitoring of one of the mobile easements. Um, 495i, okay. And of note, I guess out out of uh, um, expected uh, conditions, you, you found what some graffiti on signage. Uh, signage wasn't graffiti. We found a couple of small instances of it on stuff on the trail. One tree had been sprayed and. Interesting enough, one side of a rock that faced the pond had been sprayed in like a neon pink, almost like it was supposed to be a marker. Um, very minimal amount of trash, uh, evidence of one old campfire on the site. Um, we had expected a lot of fishing debris um, because the site is actually, looks like a decent fishing spot, a lot of tangles and such in the water. The only thing we found was one piece of line that looked like it might have blown in. Um, and the only other evidence of human contact was a bunch of stacked rock cairns at the end of the peninsula. So it's in pretty good shape for an area that could be that heavily traveled. Uh, signage was up at the border um, near the businesses off of High Street. Um, seemed like it was relatively common signage for the Willand Pond area. Uh, no motorized vehicles, that sort of thing. Didn't specifically call out that it was conservation land, but didn't also look like it was heavily traveled. Mm. Any erosion? Uh, nothing beyond what would be typical for Will and Pond. Nothing okay. quite severe. All right, good. Thank you. <coughs> I'll get that to you in a bit. I just want to take some more notes on it. Um, any correspondence regarding old business? 
here. I have an update on or response to la unless you want this under invasive. Uh, no, no, it's good. Okay. Um, so last month you talked about the invasive um, plants that are t um, taking over at the Forest Glade Cemetery and some management taking care of some of those and helping out with public works for that. I did reach out to the public works director regarding that um, and he indicated that public works, the highway division is not assigned to complete vegetative maintenance at the Forest Glade Cemetery. It's a contracted with a private landscape company for mowing. They do do some specialty services around trimmings and they did recently um, cut off all the bittersweet plants around the receiving tombs, which I have some pictures that Mike sent me of that. And then um, regarding volunteering for invasive management, he said that he's open to having conservation, having conservation commission members work on assigned areas to address low-lying shrubs, cuttings from lower levels, but not those that are intertwined in tall trees. But he would like to have um, you would need to meet with the director prior to starting any work scheduling so they knows when like a schedule of when you'd be out there um, and plan for the bittersweet trimmings and things like that you'd also need to fill out a volunteer waiver of liability form which public works has they're available on our website as well um, they use the same forms for the community garden but I think only the actual like volunteer form would be required rather than agreeing to the community garden rules um, but so if anybody wants to be put in touch with Mike that doesn't have their contact, let me know and we can help facilitate that too. And Jeremy, I can give you a copy of my memo. Thank you. That'd be good. Thank you. And uh, we haven't um, made contact with the trustees yet. Mike apparently is going to do that. Can I see those pictures? Yeah. That can stay with Jeremy too for minutes purposes. Wow, that sounds good. Thank you. Um, it looks like it looks like the bittersweet is removed. We'll have to talk about that rather than just cut and left. But that's quite a bit of work. All right, wildlife management plan for Lily Pond parcel. I don't have anything on that. Um, have been researching about it, um, but I need to reach out to, to uh, Cooperative Extension. Invasive plan subcommittee report, Dale Smith Kenyon. No update. I can contact Mike. Um, I can contact Mike about the um, removal of the bittersweet and like what he did with it um, to make sure that it's consistent with state law. Okay. Yeah, the discussion was to cut it and, and leave it um, to do its, its own thing. There may be fire concerns doing that, but. Um. I know that if it's, I know that it can be burned. Um, and if it, I think if it was removed in such a way that it was going directly to be burned, that might be acceptable, but I'm not 100% sure of that, so I'll touch base with him. Yeah, if it were to be burned on site, I think that would be one thing, but I'd have to look at the state regs to see what they say about transporting it for that. Yeah. All right. Um, Exploration of formal conservation of Mallee Farm City Parcel. Uh, Kevin is not here tonight, and I don't have any update on that. City Tree GPS Inventory Project, Doug Breyer. Don't have anything. Okay. And any other old business that may come before the commission? Um. To report, uh, Scott mentioned this earlier, but um, the natural resource chapter for the master plan update continues. They are, Stratford Regional Planning has been working on drafting the chapter. They're going to present the draft chapter to the planning board at the um, October 16th, next week, next Wednesday's meeting. So they'll have a presentation for that in hopes that the adoption of the chapter would be scheduled for the November meeting. 
Um, so if anybody's interested in hearing more about that, that'll be on Wednesday. Will the draft be in their packets ahead of time? It will, I think we'd at least get it next week. We can see about distributing it to the Conservation Commission as well, if you'd like. I can yeah, ask for that. Yeah, if I could be prepared before that. And uh, Treasurer's Report, if no one has any other old business to talk about. So the last minute I remember to get the uh, statement and as of June 30th 2024 the balance for I'm sorry as of September 30th 2024 the balance forward on June 30th was 264,598 dollars and 36 cents interest received was three thousand five hundred sixty eight dollars and seventy six cents <throat> excuse me one hundred forty dollars was dispersed for NHACC handbooks leaving an ending balance of two hundred sixty eight thousand twenty seven dollars and twelve cents and um, I can forward that to you Jeremy if you'd like that sounds good thank you That's all I've got. Anyone else? Okay. So is not the Comcast, right? Mm -hmm. Your email. I sent him a copy email. of it too. Oh, okay. I can get it to you after if you don't. You send it. Okay. Thanks. Yes, Thank you. Anyone like to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. Okay, there's a motion and a second to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Meetings adjourned at 617. Thank you very much. <laughs> record. Well,